Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am so excited for this video. It's been requested of me to do as I recently moved into my own apartment on my own and I wanted to share my tips, advice, heads up. So I'm really excited for this and I even made you guys a spreadsheet called the apartment search and checklist spreadsheet I'm gonna be using in this video. I actually used this apartment search spreadsheet, this exact one when I was doing my apartment search back in March and April. And so I was like, wait, I should share this with them and they can use it too. In May, the same week as graduating, I moved into my own studio apartment. And if you wanna see that process, I have a lot of vlogs and a lot of videos about that I will put in the cards and in the description. And I'm really happy with my decision and it has so many perks, but it also has a lot of cons and one of them being price. So I think the biggest thing from this video is make sure you're financially ready. This is gonna be the biggest theme because you may be like, oh, I want the independence of moving out. I want to be able to do what I want when I want, have friends over. I want to have a space to decorate and make my own. Like those are all pros. But I just want to say whether you're moving in with a roommate or by yourself, make sure that you can financially afford it. There's not only your monthly rent, um, which, you know, they say when searching for an apartment, this is the financial rule of thumb, is that you want to be making three times more per month than your rent. So your rent should be a third of your monthly income. I will say, I don't think that's the case for most people. And that's why a lot of people have to have a guarantor, a parent or a guardian or someone you know who is able to sign, co-sign the lease. Um, and even though I pay for the rent all on my own, I had to have one of my parents guarantee it because... I'm 22 years old and I'm self-employed. So they wanna, they, I don't know if they would trust the fact that I don't have a stable income and I'm only 22 years old. They want someone, even though my parents are self-employed too, someone who has a much larger income than me just to back it up so that they can guarantee that rent will be paid every month. So yeah, besides just rent though, there's all the fees that come with moving, um, if you need a moving crew, I didn't pay for movers, did it all by myself. It took two weeks, so next time I will be hiring movers. Um, but maybe movers, um, you have to pay, you know, your electric and water and light bill, you know, all of that. That's an electric, your electric and water bill, Wi Fi, possibly cable. Um, if you have a pet, there's an extra fee, an extra monthly rent, and all the things that are associated with having a pet at your apartment building. There's also your application fee fees even to just get an application in at an apartment building that's usually like 50 to 75 dollars per application so if you're applying to multiple places that's going to rack up and also you can apply and pay that fee and they may not even accept you so then that fee is just gone to them <laughs> um, and then there's usually like a deposit um there is like i had to pay to be a part of my resident portal that was like another 50 100 bucks um and then there's the utilities or the amenities fees so like i do have to pay for parking at my apartment i have to pay for the trash valet service for to use the amenities um there's a monthly fee for uh pest control there's two about 200 dollars in monthly fees at my apartment that are separate from rent and separate from utilities so it's a lot <laughs> Um, it really stocks up and that's not even before you get to furniture, which you don't have to spend a lot of money on furniture. You can get stuff from friends and family, Facebook marketplace, Craigslist. But if you want nice furniture, obviously that is so freaking expensive rugs. Um, and then things you, you are probably aren't even thinking of if you haven't lived on your own yet, like your cleaning supplies, having a vacuum, a broom, um, toilet paper, paper towels, utensils, plates, cups, mugs all the kitchen things that you may need, like a blender or a coffee maker. Like it, it, it is thousands of dollars I find in just the little things that make up an apartment. I did not mean to scare you guys with all these expenses. I just want you all to be smart financial queens and to make a smart decision and not just a decision because it's what everyone around you is doing. Everyone's moving out of their home or their hometown and so you feel like you have to do it too. You have to keep up with the girls you see on Instagram. I don't want you guys to go and make a big decision that's going to hurt you financially just off of those feelings from Instagram. So really make a list of all of the expenses that you would have to pay and see if you can afford that, you know, on top of rent. 
All right, so if that didn't scare you off, I'm glad you're still here because it is a super exciting and super rewarding and super fun process, oftentimes stressful, but also very fun process of looking for apartments and moving in. In the spreadsheet, there's two tabs down here at the bottom. The first one is the apartment search tab, and this is what you can use to kind of categorize all the places you look at and make notes and just compare and contrast because I toured maybe six or eight different apartment complexes. If you guys wanna see the all the ones that I toured, I did a video showing all of them. So you can check that out. Basically, there's a column for you to list the name of the apartment, the type, so I did this like one bedroom or studio, um, or if you're looking at two bedrooms or more, the location, the monthly rent, the square footage, all the fees, if um, you know besides rent, like I was talking about the amenity fees and parking, stuff like that. I am looking to get a pet in the future, so I wanted to compare the pet fees, what the application fee was, so that's what I knew I had to pay right then if I was interested in applying. The availability, so that's the other thing if you're moving to a very popular area, is like Nashville had some new builds that the apartments weren't gonna be ready till June, or they had someone, they only had one or two units open until like maybe July or August, or maybe like a weird date in May, and I was having to, coordinate it with movement. So just also knowing, do they have a unit available when I have to be out by? And then there's a place for notes where you can just kind of write out any other thoughts. So if a, I liked the vibe of a place or the staff seems super nice, or I liked one aspect of it that's not, you know, normal, I kind of just put it all my thoughts in the notes section. And then I have a little checklist here. These are just things that I was looking for. I wanted a gym. I wanted um, them to have a good package system since I get a lot of packages. I would have loved to have a pool, a balcony, some place to work, a dog park, and a good trash system, like a trash valet or a trash chute. So the only thing that this, that the apartment I'm in now doesn't check off is I don't have a balcony, but all of my other boxes got checked for this one and comparing the location, the price of rent, the square footage. This is the apartment that made the most sense for me and I'm really happy with it. I wanna do a full apartment tour very soon because I, I am pretty much all done decorating it for the most part. And then the next tab you see down here is apartment move-in checklist. So again, I made a list in my notes app of all the things I had to do before and after move-in and I basically copied and pasted it in here for you guys to make it super easy. And of course, if there are special things that your apartment also uh, needs for you to do, or maybe one of these things you don't need to do, edit it however you need, but for the most part, I feel like these are pretty standard checklists for moving into an apartment. So after you find the apartment you like, you apply to the portal, that's when they're like, all right, we're gonna move forward with your application, we just need proof of income, and then once everything's agreed on, they'll send you the lease. Make sure to read through the fine print, make sure to see how much it's gonna cost if you break the lease. If there's any weird stipulations, you can always ask questions. And once you sign that lease, you're signing your life away for 12, 13, 14 months, however long. Mine was a 13 month lease. Well, oh, here's a little tip that I wanna add in during this process is my friend, Amanda, taught me that you can negotiate at your apartment. Now, I couldn't hear because my place was very popular. It's new, it's um, beautiful, and they ha were having no trouble filling up the units. But if you're in a place where they're having trouble getting people to rent there, um, maybe it is a new building, but not a lot of people are moving to that area, negotiate that rent. No Amanda got her, I think she'd be fine me sharing this, she got her rent taken down a couple hundred dollars, and she got her parking fee discounted too. So. Little things like that. I did ask if I could have parking waived or things like that. And they were just like, no, we really can't do any deals. I was like, okay, that's fine. I still wanna live here. <laughs> but you can always try. The worst they can do is say no, like they did to me. Then you normally have to buy renter's insurance. Mine is about $18 a month through e-renter's plan. It's what my apartment, my I used in my old apartment and what this apartment recommended. Set up and call your electric place. So NES is the Nashville Electric Service. There'll be one for whatever city you live in. You physically have to call them and create an account, at least that's what I had to do, and then give that account number to the apartment and then they'll do the rest of the setup. But I pay my electric on my own through a portal. When me and Lucy lived together, it was like $75 a month split between two people, so here, it's been, I had like an application fee, which was like $40 plus in my first month. So I think it's gonna cost me like 20 to $30 a month for electric here. I had to set up my packaging system. My apartment here uses Fetch. So I'm not gonna go into what that is, but there's Fetch, I've used Luxor before. Pay your deposit. So I had to bring a cashier's check-in. I couldn't do that online yet. So then after move-in, 
Um, like the first weekend I was here, I set up my Wi-Fi, which you can, you have to figure out if the router is in your building or if you're gonna have to rent a router or some router in your room or rent a router. Your apartment will give you instructions. We use Xfinity. I pay because I need good Wi-Fi because I work from home. I pay like $60 a month for Wi-Fi. If you want cable, you can do that. I don't pay for cable at this place. Um, make sure to check and see if your mailbox key works. And then the last one is something I thought I did, but I had missed a few addresses, and that is just to update your addresses everywhere, especially if you get subscriptions, like you get your vitamins or your Curology or Fashion Pass or anything like that, and, and they send it monthly and charge you monthly. Make sure that those addresses are changed or you put a forwarding addre address at your old place so that you can get your mail and get your packages. All right, so I think that is everything. Going through my spreadsheets, giving you guys a rundown of expenses, a little bit of the pros and cons. I talked more about you know the expenses and the cons because the pros are obvious. Like It's so fun to decorate your own space. It's great to have independence. Um, and it's just, I've been loving, I've really been loving it. And so I've been loving living on my own. I wanted to give you guys a full, well-rounded picture and what to really look for when you're looking to move out on your own. So I hope this was helpful, but if you have any other questions, comment them below. I'm really gonna try to answer all of them that you may have to the best of my ability. Again, I will link those apartment move-in search and vlogs in the description um, for you all. But thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.